and thanks for joining me today for our five minutes of grammar. I'm Michelle and it's nice to be with you again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about or going back to phrasal verbs because we can never get enough phrasal verbs and there are so many uh, that uh, you know we really just have to use phrasal verbs and hear phrasal verbs uh, in order to uh, really understand how to use them. Um, often phrasal verbs are used in conversation, uh, so you will hear phrasal verbs a lot uh, in English uh, if you're listening or watching uh, series or movies. Um, so really the idea about understanding them is just hearing them in context. So today we're going to be doing uh, phrasal verbs using go. Um, it's one of probably the most frequently used uh, phrasal verbs or root phrasal verb. So today we're going to be uh, looking at what do they mean, uh, the different types of uh, phrasal verbs using go. So our first one is uh, to go off. So to go off uh, means, well, it has a couple of meanings. To go off can mean to, um, to make a noise. Uh, so, for example, um, there was a loud noise that went off in the night. So, firstly, firstly, don't forget to conjugate because go is a um, is a, an irregular verb. So, go went gone. Um, the fireworks will go off at midnight. So that also means to explode. Uh, but go off can also mean when some kind of food has gone bad so you can say oh I opened the fridge last night and I think something has gone off so it means it's it's turned it's not very good um, okay so the next one could be go ahead um, now to go ahead it means to continue uh, so let's say for example you go uh, I'm running late uh, why don't you go ahead uh, to the meeting and I will meet you there so that also means to continue but it also can mean uh, to start uh, to start something so if uh, say for example you're in a in a meeting and you want to you want to participate and you want to say something uh, the person who's leading the meeting might see that you want to uh, say something and they'll say go ahead uh, go ahead um, so it just means it's your turn to talk um, we have also go over so to go over something it means to um, is to look at something in more detail uh, so uh, you could say uh, could you um, help me uh, go over uh, this report uh, because there are a few uh, a few things that I would like you to check uh, before the meeting for example uh, so that's to go over um, also go over can mean physically to get from one side to another say for a mountain or something so you could say we need to go over uh, go over the mountain uh, to get from one place to another um, you can also go round so to go round it means to go and visit someone um, so you could say i mm, i think i'm going to go round and see my friend this weekend uh, because I have some really exciting news to tell them. Uh, so I'm going to go round uh, to my friend's house. Um, now also go round, it, it really has a, you know, a visual uh, sense to it because when you go round to someone, it's in a sense you're, you're, you're going in a circular motion. So that's going round. So it really means to visit someone. Um, also we have go out. Um, now, same for um, go over. Uh, go out has a couple of meanings. Uh, to go out means to um, to leave your house and uh, for somewhere fun and to have a nice time. So, you know, you could say, "Well, I'm so lucky. I'm going out on Friday night. Uh, I have been invited uh, to my friend's house, so I'm going out." Or uh, you could say, uh, I really miss uh, going out at the moment as all the restaurants and bars and cafes are closed. So I am looking forward to going out again very soon, I hope. 
um, go out can also mean uh, to turn off. So, but turn off, to turn off unexpectedly. Uh, you could say, oh, it was very strange. I was sitting in my, in my house and all the lights just went out. It means it went from light to dark. Um, so you also, if you're talking about candles, you, the, the candles will go out. So just to let you know that phrasal verbs, uh, I mean, that's really just a few of them. It's not, you know, go, there are many more. Um, you know, you can, you can go and look up online um, and you can see uh, lots of different types of phrasal verbs if you're looking for more detail. Um, but there is an endless number. So these are just a few uh, to give you an idea. But just to let you know that um, phrasal verbs, you can't translate them. It's not something that is easily translated from uh, English into another language. Uh, because uh, if you translate a phrasal verb literally, it won't make any sense whatsoever. So try not to translate phrasal verbs. Just try and understand them in context. And uh, in that way, you will get a global idea uh, about what that person is saying. And once you hear that phrasal verb repeated, then you'll start to really understand when and how to use them. Uh, okay, so we'll be doing phrasal verbs again, because there are many. Uh, today was go, and uh, I hope it was helpful. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again for our next uh, five minutes of grammar. Uh, every little bit counts. Thanks again and see you soon.